What the? Hello, fellow knights and adventurers. Finn here, and welcome to Sigma Club 2. And I would like to give a special thanks to Savior for giving me an early access to this mod. And so, let's get right into it. This video is too based for an intro, so... Yeah. Stoky doki time. Here we are. Sigma Club 2. Sigma Stigma. By Kennedy Production. And... Mm, and it's playing uh, Claire de Lune for some reason. That's cool. <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. Brought to you by Kennedy Productions. Ah, uh, yes, Jack. In association with the JQ crew. Hey, it's my homies! The long awaited sequel Sigma Club 2. The Sigma Stigma. Hope you all are based for this one, but if you're right based, get out of here. I'll be honest with you, this one isn't as good or funny as the first. We'll see about that. Oh, and I assume this is, these are the events from the first one, but I'll get into that right after this one perhaps. Three days. Three days since it all happened. Chad hasn't come back, neither have the girls. But where? is the question. It's a good question. The orange sunlight begins to disappear from my window as the sun sets. I'm still processing what happened that week. Where did Chad even come from? None of it made sense, and now another night goes by where I sleep it off and hope everything is back to normal the next day. But nothing ever happens, and it will never will. The annoying bickering of my Wait, no. I get out of bed and get dressed. Ready for another uneventful day of school. Class is just boring as ever. Yeah, let's just say I'm too busy for this one. Why out of all languages? Why did I have to take... French? This Jean-Pierre Baptiste looking motherfucker. Oh, a teacher really gets on my nerves. I bet that was uh, I bet that was Jack or Amigo who said that I think, and so has everyone at school. People have been asking me where Yuri, Sayori, and Natsuki are, and no one gives a flying fuck about Monica. So based, <laughs> I mean, ain't that the truth? Cause you know Monica, she being a Monica, so of course it's the truth. All right, <laughs> I'm sorry, Monica fans, but hey, hey, not all mods. I have money cunt in him, alright? I always just shrug and say that I have no clue. Because, well, I don't. Well, that's based right there. How could I ever know where they are? They just vanished and never came back. I can't say that to people. They think I'm a lunatic. I sit in silence waiting for the damn bell to go off. If I had to sit here and listen to this teacher talk about his shitty language any longer, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> it's even said bitches teacher! <laughs> and since it's fresh, so I'll try, but I'm not trying to make fun of, you know. It's alright, I'm gonna give you guys a pop quiz. This is false a grade, so I really hope you've been paying attention. I'm gonna unalive myself, I swear to Glob. <laughs> Alright, that's that's it's funny. Finally home. I get an alert on my phone. Jason, yo, me and Requiz are playing Smash Bros. at my place. You come in or what? Javier and Wyatt may join us too. Oh I get where I get where this is from. I assume this is of course uh Jay and the uh, JQ crew are playing Smash Bros. at the Discord server. I mean I've seen them. Uh, Discord notified me, so that's 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 very cool. That wasn't a choice, ass face. Come over here, and then there's her quiz. <laughs> oh man! I respond to them both, saying that I'll be over soon. I get ready to leave my house. I see the white claw that Chad left on my counter. Oh, 
But what's this drink? I never tried this before, but if I do, then I assume it must taste very tasty, I guess. Chekhov's White Claw, ladies and gents. I leave my house and head over to Jason's to play Smash Bros. Alright. Welcome, punch! Oh, that's cool. Oh, fuck you and your up smash. Everyone bursts into laughter as Requiz loses his last stock. He landed into it, dude. Yeah, man, you had to see that coming. White and Jason are the only ones left, fighting for the win. White's Captain Falcon is no joke, but Jason's DLC privilege, Bayleth or Bleth, annoys all of us to no end. I don't know how to say that, but neither both works, so let's go with that. Oh, it's nice. It's even nice that there's even a working Smash Bros. gameplay there. That's cool. Don't even get me started on his Pyra and my Mithra. Mithra. Falcon Punch! Damn it! We all laugh as the game ends. I check my phone. Holy shit, it's 1am. We've been here for 10 hours? Time flies. I best get going. Same. Alright, have a good one boys. Later. Requiz and I part ways after leaving the house and I make my way home. Well that's a good uh, smash session if you know what I mean. I walk home, and before I go to bed, I decided to get a snack. I see the white claw on the table. It all flashes by me again. Oh boy. Oh man, the, the events of the first one. I stare at it for a while. My phone buzzes again. It's not in my contacts. Drink it, my friend. An unknown contact? Who the heck? I don't know what to do. I was probably gonna drink it with little hesitation before I got this text, but now this is just ominous. I reach to pick it up. It's cold, somehow. I want to put it down. I stare at it in my hand for minutes on end. I pop it open. I bring it close to my mouth. Alright, take a sip. I finally got- What the- Javier adds some crazy back space backgrounds and shit. The prophecy is true type teal. <laughs> Leave that note in the mod. This one too if you want. <laughs> That's a nice note there. Uh, I get it. I get it. The knowledge. I know what to do. Oh, and more Claire de Lune playing. Or Claire de, or Claire de Sayori from the... Uh, Monica before story OST, but still, same thing. Ah. Uh, beautiful. Exhilarating. Just look at them birds from branches. And now we're back to the bedroom. Weeks go by. I have completed the trials. The trials of Sigma. I am ready to ascend. I hear knocks on my door. I make my way over and open it. It's Requiz. Whoa! He was gonna say something, but is now standing in shock. Uh, dude? What the- Oh! Sup, bro? Sigma MC! Hey! Is- Is this what you've been doing all this time? Yeah, bro. Look, bro. Uh, we all been worried. No one has seen you for almost two months now. I've been busy, bro. Clearly. Look, man, the crew is gonna play Smash again tonight. It ain't been the same without you. You in? Maybe later, bro. I got some, uh, business, some business to attend, bro. Yeah, I got some stuff to do, bro. Alright, Sigma MC. I hope to see you there. Yeah, hope to see you there later, bro. I go up to my room and sit down on the floor. Focus. Focus. I close my eyes. I feel the world shift around me. Alright, it's back into our peaceful, tranquil thoughts. I open my eyes. The ground is cold. 
I take in my surroundings and turn around. A manly figure stands before me. There he is. Chad. So, you finally made it, my friend. Friend? Yes, bro. Friend. Hey, Giga Chad! I stand up. I waited a long time for this. So I, so have I, bro. So, where are they? Around. I guess there's no point in delaying any further. Oh, <laughs> totally not a JoJo reference because he's menacing as heck. Just standing there, staring at you menacingly. Indeed, bro. I needed this to happen for quite some time. We charge toward each other. He reaches me and starts throwing fists. He hits me a few times, but I'm mostly on skate. I jump into the air and do a spinning roundhouse kick to the side of his head. <laughs> he blocks it with his arm. He'll take more than that. Bro! He sweeps my legs, knocking me out on the ground. I move out of the way. I set up and launch him over to my shoulder. I slide onto one knee and charge up my fist. Sigma! I throw my fist, my fist forward. Ouch! Chad flies through the air. <laughs> Dang! Well, that right there is the um, top 10 anime battles of all time. I walked over to where he landed. Better than uh, DK versus Madam. He lays in front of me, defeated. Thank you, bro. Thank you? You have lifted my curse. Now I can get back on the grind and stop concerning myself with sex and women. Chad smiles as he fades away. Oh no! I turn around and see the girls. Hey! It's the Dokis! They're all fighting well! And even though they're crying, but still, they're fighting well! Thank goodness they are back! They all stare at me. I walk towards them. I open my arms for a hug and they all do the same. I transport us back to my home. Alright, go home. Go home? That's it? Yes, I have a game of Smash Bros to do, bro. They all stare at me confused. I lead them all outside. I lock the door behind me and walk to Jason's house. The sun begins to set over the horizon. Ah yes, faced. Is that it? Or, or is there more? Just walking off into the sunset, playing Smash Bros with my homies. A Kennedy production, written by Jack. Ah yes, coded by Javier Escuela. Sigma Club, coded by Ayat Wallace, Childish N. Residence Light BG, Soviet Spartan. Ah yes, of course. Mod Template, Weiss. Chat the random images on Google Images. <laughs> course. Nintendo. Smash Bros footage, Jay Killen. Hey, the turret's guy. Brawl. Songs used. Uh, this is a cool looking uh, credits here. Oh, of course, Claire de Lune by Debuzi. Trinity 1337. In memoriam of Team Red Mazda. Thank you for playing. Base credits right there in base mod. Rest in peace, Chad Thundercock. Earlier year, current year. See you, space, bro. Condolences. Well, this mod is absolutely based. And you know what else is based? 
by leaving a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified, bro. And you know what's also based? Savior. <laughs> a based lad for giving me an early access to this mod. So, if you want to check it out for yourself, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers and bros.